What's up everybody and welcome back to this channel. And if you haven't been here, servus and welcome. My name is Patrick and I'm a boudoir photographer based in Vienna, Austria. And about every other week I'm releasing new videos and tutorials to improve your photography. To be more specific, it's all about boudoir and nude photography. So if you're into this, definitely like, subscribe and hit the notification button. To be creative and to shoot more new or better poses with your clients or models is one of the most important but also one of the biggest challenges we face. That's the reason why I decided to give you my five best selling poses and to give you step by step guidance so you can easily implement them in your shooting routine. Let's get started. Pose number one. I love this pose, not just because it fits almost every body type, but because it's a unique angle and most women haven't seen their bodies from this perspective. And I can assure you, they will be shocked, but you know, in a very positive way. And they will love their results. That's how we do it. Ask your model or client to sit on the floor with their back against the couch, a bed or something similar. I love to use the couch for this pose. It's important that she moves her pelvis far enough away from the couch so that she can comfortably place her head on the couch. I also ask her to bend her knees, one knee slightly higher than the other, and to point her toes. I usually give clients two to three variations for her hand placement. In this case, the first pose is with her hands to the side of her body. Then I ask her to play around with the lingerie and the last pose, I wanted her to hold her legs with her arms crossed. I corrected the pose slightly by changing her hair, moved the hair to the side towards the window and asked her to close her eyes, open her mouth slightly and turn her head towards me. It's really important to arch the back and if you like, you can even ask her to take a deep breath. Pose number two. This is another very popular pose and quite similar to our first pose. So it's actually very easy for clients to get into the pose, but the results are surprisingly different and our clients are absolutely stunned and love their pictures. So you ask your model or client to lay on the couch, but to place her head on the armrest. From there, she can perfectly lift her chest and arch her back. I also want her to bend her knees and point her toes, even if they are not always in the picture. From here you can ask her to play around with the lingerie or to raise her arms and play with her hair. Pose number three. I ask her to lay on the table, moving her pelvis to the end of the table. She can either put her heels on the table or place one foot on the couch. From here, it gets a little bit tricky. To be able to really raise the back, it's important to start the pose by putting her head in her neck as far as it's possible and comfortable for her. I tell my clients all the time to feel the table on the back of her head and raise the back from there. Now she can raise her arms over her head, can put her hands on chests or her hips. 
I always ask the model or client to close the eyes and open the mouth slightly. Pose number four. The next pose is really exciting because I always do the pose myself to show it to our clients. I really recommend you to not just know as many poses as possible, but also be able to show all of them to your clients. So to perform this pose, I ask her to stand straight in front of the bed. We start by entering the bed with the right knee. Then we place our hands underneath our shoulders. Stop there for a second and try to find your balance. On a soft surface like um, the air bed we use, it's even harder to find and keep the balance. From there, I want you to lift your head, place the hair on the back and arch your back as much as possible. I always ensure clients that if I can do a pose, they can do it as well and it always looks better when they are doing it. Obviously, as you can see. Pose number five. Pose number five is a very easy pose to teach and perform. I ask her to knee in the middle of the bed, knees about shoulder wide apart and sit back on her heels. Now I ask her to open the bra and keep both closures in her hands. I now want her to slightly lift her pelvis and put her hair on her back. This is a very sensual pose and we love to use this pose especially as a transition pose to our nude sets. The key to the lock, we in our own zone. Make yourself at home, get to know mine on the inside. We can meet at yours next time. And you will live for shit. Lose control. You don't wanna go. How about you? What's your favorite pose? Or do you like more posing guides and tutorials like this? Just let me know and leave me a short message in the comments below the video. If you like even more information on this topic or if you're into behind the scenes videos or if you just like to see more exclusive or uncensored content we create with our stunning models, you will find the link to our Patreon account in the description. There we share even more content, talk in detail about everything about shooting and retouching boudoir photos and the business side of our work. There will also be challenges and group critiques in which you can participate and much much more to come. All right. Now it's your turn. Go out and create some stunning art. I see you in the next video.